Nibco HydroPure lead-free valves are manufactured from de-zincification resistant alloys categorized as performance bronze due to their superior heat tolerance, strength, and corrosion resistance. Lead-free alloys used by Nibco are rated excellent by the Copper Development Association in solder suitability and can be effectively brazed. As state and federal lead-free legislation is implemented, not only have products utilized in a plumbing system required changing, so too have the installation methods. Not all lead-free alloys are created alike. However, lead-free installation techniques and practices are similar. How do Nibco's lead-free alloys differ from traditional leaded copper alloys, and how does this affect solder installation? First, Nibco lead-free alloys are extremely corrosion resistant. This high corrosion resistance requires proper solder and flux selection. Second, the replacement of lead with other elements can have a marked impact on heat transfer and distribution. Uniform and even heat is essential. Many brands of plumbing flux and solders have been evaluated by Nibco for satisfactory performance with lead-free alloys. A flux must be capable of maintaining an oxide-free joinery surface throughout the soldering process and aid in solder flow, solidification, and adhesion within the joint. Plumbing solder should have a melting point above 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For a high quality solder joint, always follow commonly accepted industry practices. Cut two bends squarely. Remove all burrs from the ID and OD of tube ends. Use 120 grit or coarser emery cloth or a stiff brush to clean both ends. Check for fit. If the dry fit is too tight, it could result in scraping flux from the joint, resulting in inadequate coverage. Whether using a wire brush or emery cloth to clean solder cups on ball valves, open the valve completely to avoid damaging the ball. Apply appropriate flux to outside of tube and inside of solder cup. Surfaces to be joined must be completely covered. Coat the surfaces thoroughly. Always close a ball valve prior to soldering. Use roughly the same length of solder as the nominal size of the joint being installed. For example, use approximately one inch of solder to solder a one inch joint. Use approximately two inches of solder to solder a two inch joint and so on. Ball valves should always be soldered in the closed position, never partially or fully opened. Gate valves should be in the opened position when soldering. Silicon bronze alloys will transfer heat away from the joint more slowly than copper or leaded bronze. Therefore, more attention must be required to achieve uniform heating of the alloy. Heating fuel and torch tip selection will determine the amount of heat being delivered and therefore affect the time it takes to achieve a satisfactory solder joint. Solder, flux, and lead-free alloy combinations should always be tested with the preferred heat source according to the installer's techniques. Standard soldering techniques can be used with proper selection and testing of solder and flux combinations. Uniform heat should be accompanied by directing the innermost flame tip, neutral flame, to the joint. Begin by heating the socket and tube. Apply the flame to the base of the solder cup the farthest point you want to draw the solder to, and draw the flame onto the tube, just past the joint gap. Never apply the flame directly into the gap. Heat the entire joint. Always keep the flame moving. Do not linger in any one position too long. Watch for the flux to activate, per manufacturer's recommendation. Flux will generally bubble, smoke, or evaporate as it reaches activation temperature. Take care not to burn out the flux. With uniform heating around the base of the cup, touch the solder to the joint. If the solder doesn't melt, remove the solder and continue heating the entire joint. When the solder begins to melt, return the flame to the base of the cup, rotating the flame 360 degrees around the cup. When wiping the joint for appearance, take care to not disturb the joint. 
stem packing may need to be tightened after soldering. How is the quality of a solder joint judged? Solder joints are best evaluated by cutting and peeling back to reveal solder coverage. Cut the joint with a saw and peel the tube from the joint. Less than 100% solder coverage is not uncommon for both lead-free copper alloys and alloys containing lead. In general, solder coverage of 70% or more is often cited as the benchmark of a good solder joint. Here are some examples of solder joint coverage you may experience while practicing. Full solder coverage with no voids would be considered a high quality joint. Non-uniform heating can result in good coverage on a portion of the joint, though not uniformly around the entire joint. Inactivated flux or compatibility issues with solder flux combinations can inhibit solder flow. A joint with more than 30% void at any location would not be considered acceptable solder coverage. Excessive heat applied to the solder joint or flame directed into the joint gap can burn out the flux causing poor coverage. Flux cannot perform its intended purpose in this situation. In summary, always strive for full solder coverage, keeping in mind that 70% or more coverage is an ideal benchmark to achieve a high quality solder joint. Nibco recommends that you practice using the soldering techniques we have demonstrated in this program with your preferred selection of flux, solder, and heating tools in order to gain confidence to achieve the best quality lead-free solder installations every time. Lead-free solder training kits are available from your local Nibco representative and include everything you need to get comfortable with lead-free soldering. Each kit contains one S585 lead-free valve loosely assembled, a bag of seat rings, and nine additional end pieces. This kit can be used to practice lead-free soldering technique and judge the results of your coverage. After soldering the end piece end, the valve can easily be disassembled and the seat examined to see if excessive heat has damaged the seal. The joint can then be cut and peeled to judge solder coverage. Taking the time to practice is highly encouraged and will give any professional installer the confidence needed to achieve superior results when installing lead-free products. Thank you for watching. For more than 100 years, Nibco has crafted products with pride and quality workmanship, keeping the installer always in mind. Please contact your local Nibco representative or Nibco Technical Services at 888-446-4226 or visit nibco.com for additional information.